a few days back one of our subscribers sent me this problem this basically is on a set square set square is the object flat surface you need to make the projections and you can clearly see that set square the surface of which is inclined at 45 degrees to the hp and the longest edge is at 30 degrees to the vp so there are these conditions which you need to ensure should reflect in your final drawing and he asked me very very clearly sir can you provide a 3d demonstration of this i thought about it for a while and then i said let's do it so i made this entire 3d representation something which you have to draw i mean you guys only draw the top view and the front view like this okay now everything will be understood in the environment of autocad 3d and then we are going to go to the drawing mode okay something that you guys do on a drawing sheet or a plain piece of paper you draw an xy line above which you have the front view below which you have the top view we are going to also do that but first of all we are going to take this uh, take a look at this from a 3d perspective this is going to be very very interesting so here we go A 3060 set square 125 mm longest side longest edge whatever you may call it here it is a 3060 set square can you see this okay 60 30 and this is the longest edge the dimension of the longest edge is 125 millimeters wonderful it is so kept that the longest side is always in contact with the horizontal plane it is in the hp that means in contact with the hp secondly uh, it also makes an angle of 30 degrees so this longest edge is in contact with the hp and it makes a certain angle with the vp so so many things have been given in the first sentence of the problem okay it makes an angle of 30 degree with the vp and square set square itself is inclined at 45 degrees to the hp my goodness so many datas in the first sentence okay so surface is inclined edge is also inclined and uh, the dimensions are also given let me write them let's take a look let me explain here we go so the object into consideration is a set square sir wonderful what is the length of the longest edge sir this happens to be 125 millimeters and here it is okay sir this longest edge is 125 millimeters we agree but at the same time it is making an angle of 30 degrees with the vp so any angle made with the vertical plane is phi who is making an angle longest edge what is the magnitude sir 30 degrees secondly it also has been given that the set square itself is inclined at 45 degree to the hp so the angle made would be something of this sort this is how the angle will be made this is the set squares surface okay flat surface this is the angle made if just think about it there is a horizontal plane over here this angle is 45 degrees right so you have to implement so many things in the problem surface is at 45 uh, degrees wonderful how to proceed from here okay and by the way this is the condition longest edge shall remain in contact with the horizontal plane always and it should reflect perfectly in your final drawing so this basically is a three-step problem step one step two and step three again remember this is initial position sir okay in step two surface inclination now sir the surface inclination could be with hp and it could also be with respect to the vp but in this case we know very well that the angle that the surface makes it with the hp thirdly in step three what we go for is the edge inclination again which principal plane is the edge inclined to tell me is it hp or is it vp sir uh, we can clearly see the edge is inclined to vp the angle is phi over here surface was inclined to hp the angle was theta over here so the correct option is that the edge is inclined to vp okay so this basically is a three-step problem how do you approach such a case again whenever you solve any problem on projection of planes just check observe to which principal plane the surface is inclined so we know very well that here the set square surface is inclined at 45 degrees to the hp what sir it is 45 degrees to the hp like this like this okay so your initial assumption is going to be assume that the surface is parallel to hp or slam it on the hp 
and just think from where from where can you see the true shape of this surface so the true shape of this surface can only be seen from the top and therefore you have to begin by creating the top view first but sir there are so many options what options sir uh, we can create a top view like this yes you can sir we can also create a top view like this also which is the correct option option one or option two please let us know now, again check is the edge inclined yes sir the edge is inclined to which principal plane sir it is inclined to vp so any edge inclination you know very well is going to happen in step number three so if the edge is inclined in step number three in step number one this edge has to be kept perpendicular to xy this is a protocol which all of you must remember jo bhi edge aakhri mein step 3 mein incline hoga usko step 1 mein keep it perpendicular to xy okay please uh, i want all of you to take a screenshot of this surface incline to hp remember 40 degree 45 degrees edge incline to vp 30 degrees okay as per our problem this is the case always remember so when uh, you have a case like this the edge always has to be kept perpendicular to x y so this is the correct option and this is an incorrect option don't go for this top view either you have to go for such kind of top view if it's a pentagon then your drawing would be like this if it's a triangle your drawing will be like this if it's a set square your drawing is like this i hope you got it now yes sir okay let's get back to the problem and i also need to give you a 3d representation isn't it so shall i erase all of these things yes sir you can but let us take a screenshot to le lo yaar screenshot pata pat le liya okay done let's move to autocad now and let's enter the 3d world this is going to be uh, very very beautiful here we go chalo chalte hain one sec okay so this is what you call the principal plane what is this so this is a vertical plane this is a horizontal plane what do you project on a horizontal plane horizontal plane mein tumko kya milta hai sir we actually get a top view on the hp we get a front view on the vp wonderful you know all the things okay let me start in step number 1 what have we done sir we are assuming that the entire object is resting on hp okay in step number 2 we'll do the inclination with hp and in step number 3 the edge or the side will be inclined to the vp okay okay step by step sir uh, position number 1 and hazir ho ye raha position number 1 it is slammed on the hp sir how would the front and top view look like well the front view would look simply like a line isn't if i if i were to draw the projectors first of all i think i should draw the projectors okay that's for the front view this is the front view want to see from the front okay, one sec let me switch on the front view how would the top view look like sir the top view would simply look like this this is how the top view would look okay if you want to see if you want to see the boundary this is how it would look cyan in color okay so that's the front view i mean that's the front view okay and the top view would be something like this done sir we have understood let's let's move to now step number 2 in step number 2 we actually go for surface inclination surface inclination has been given as 45 degrees isn't it here it is sir but i mean we can't see the angle let me just show you this is how the set square has been placed okay so this angle over here is 45 degrees do you want to see the projectors here they are here you are going to get the front view and uh, if you join these three corners this one this one and this one over here you are going to get the top view do you want to see the top view yes sir we want to here it is dekh lo acche se okay this is how the top view would look like if you want to see the front view uh, the front view is very very simple in fact the same green colored line same length exact dimension would be at an angle of 45 degrees nothing else okay the front view is really very simple here it is okay two steps done in the final step what we will do is we will incline the edge okay and the edge inclination uh, would be something like this the edge is inclined with vp and now if i want all of you to watch this carefully you just take a look if you just produce this okay extend extend this somewhere here the angle made will be equal to 30 degrees right so this is a case of edge inclination if you want to see the projectors 
for the front and top it looks like this okay, these are the projectors for the front view and there is one projector for the top view right okay so this corner over here will be somewhere here in the top view and these are the other two corners anyways uh, if you want to see how the front view and top view works out the front view is something of this sort and the top view is something of this sort so this is the entire projection i've tried to make this as simple as possible in the 3d environment of AutoCAD. i think this is enough nine minutes are over now let's create the entire drawing i'll make it in powerpoint you guys are going to do this on a plain sheet of paper you can also do this on AutoCAD. okay i've already done it here it is wonderful isn't it 2d 3d everything okay here we go let's now move to the AutoCAD's environment and let's do this here we go where is my powerpoint okay so sir what is the first thing that you want to do the first thing is as i told you we are assuming not assuming but surface is inclined to hp yes assume the surface is on the hp slam it on the hp true shape from where can you see the true shape sir this can be seen from the top clearly okay true dimension true shape so you have to begin by making the top view and here it is so what is the length 125 done very easy sir okay wonderful now from here at an angle of 60 degrees draw a line from here at an angle of 30 degrees draw a line this is 30 degrees sir this is 60 degrees sir somewhere here they are going to cut if this is a this is b this has got to be c okay let me do this in one go so damn easy sir now let me mark this as point c let me take a look at this from the front these are the projectors and here you'll have the front view i mean these two points a dash and b dash here we'll have c dash very very simple in the second step what you need to do is you need to recreate this okay but at an angle of 45 degrees want to see the autocad version once again let me show this to you you can clearly see step number one front view step number two front view both of them are identical the only difference being is that this has been kept at an angle of 45 degrees when you do that you are going to automatically get the top view how let me show this here we go erase so what i'll do is just a second wait for a while i'll simply make a construction line at an angle of 45 degrees okay place the steel leg of my compass and then the pencil leg of my compass with this much as the radius and with this guy as the center i'll cut an arc and if this is a dash b dash this has got to be c dash and with this approach you can create this done sir very easy let me make the top view have the projector lines downwards okay so every anything which i have drawn in red you have to make it with an edge pencil bold okay keep it dark slightly thick and these lines are the construction lines or projectors keep them thin three edge pencil to be very precise okay let me have the lines from over here so you can see a a this is going to be a similarly c c okay and this is going to be c and join all the corners this is the final squeezed not the final semi-final you can say squeezed top view okay so surface inclination done what about the edge inclination as i have told you whichever edge is inclined you have to do that in step number three okay what edge inclination but make sure but make sure that edge is kept at this is the edge i'm talking about at an angle of 90 degrees in step one you have to remember these things this is the standard procedure next thing to do is to simply create a line you can create a line through this point also through this point also so if i make <laughs> this kind of a line i mean what you need to do is you need to recreate this but here the angle that this line a b makes is 90 degrees and here the line ab is going to make is an angle of 30 degrees oh, so I, I thought about not eating up at a lot of space okay i'm saving some space i'm starting from here you guys can start from here also absolutely no problem right but when you do that so much of space is left over here so yeah simple si baat. right here we go so mark a over here and simply extend right 
keep one leg of your compass at a other leg at b with that much as the radius cut and this is where you are going to get point b i hope you guys can achieve this very easily although you can clearly see this is 125 this also is 125 this is unchanged yeah but these dimensions these have changed this dimension has reduced but this 125 it is same here we go a b now what sir use a compass a s center cut an arc similarly use a compass once again b s center cut an arc done this intersection point is your point c and let's connect all of them watch it from the front all the projector lines to the right done sir c c that's point c dash for you similarly this is a a that's point a dash for you i'm sure similarly you can obtain i mean you can get point b dash and when you connect all of them this is the final front view that you get that was the entire problem okay i hope i have done full justice to the demonstration of this right so how do you like this problem let me know by the comments and to share this video as much as you can with your friends uh, with your college friends in your telegram groups and your whatsapp groups so that everybody can benefit this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a nice day and if you've got any other problem from any topic from engineering drawing or engineering mechanics do send it to me okay by the chat box on my application or you can simply write it down in the comment section below don't worry i go through each and every comment thank you very much have a nice day